Stampin' Buds. Welcome to today's video. Today I want to show you a card technique that is taking the paper crafting world by storm. So this is the card that we're going to create today and I wanted just to see if I could get it to shine on camera. Can you see all the shining going on through here? It's kind of like a disco ball. Um, but it's really fun and super duper easy to make. So let's get started. So I'm going to bring in my paper trimmer and a piece of acetate. Oops, sorry if it's too loud there. Um, and I'm going to cut a three inch by 12 inch strip. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on my trimmer and I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. You may want to run your blade a couple different times so it doesn't get stuck. So there is a protective coating on this. And as you can see, by me um, running it through my trimmer, it has already shown which side the protective layer's on. Um, another way to do it is to take something pokey like your scissors and just kind of peel away um, either that side or that side. Um, it's only on one side, but that is a way to get it started to see which side the protective coating is on. And for this project, you're going to want it facing down. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my trimmer back in. Let me set my acetate aside. And I'm going to take my half inch by 12 inch pieces and I'm going to cut them down. Let me move this down here. I'm just gonna cut them at three inches all the way across. So at the end of the cutting, you should have four little pieces that measure half inch by three inches. Okay, see, so just like that. And I'm gonna go ahead and speed up the camera so that you don't have to watch me do all of the pieces. Let me bring the acetate back in. And remember, the, the side that you're gonna peel off later needs to be face down. And then next, I'm gonna bring in um, a little bit of adhesive. I'm gonna scooch this over a little bit and I am just gonna randomly start taking pieces of these papers. And what you're gonna wanna do is run the adhesive all the way from end to end so that when you stick these on, there is no um, space that doesn't have adhesive on it because when we cut these later, you'll want every little piece to be able to stick. So as you can see, I am going to just add these to the acetate. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna leave a really small gap in between each of the pieces of paper. Now that this is done, see how you can see all the shine in between? The acetate is what makes it do that because it's clear. And here is what the back looks like. So now what I'm gonna do is bring in my trimmer and we are gonna start trimming this up. So because these are like three inches wide by half inch, the half inch part is the part you want to pay attention to because when you stick it in the trimmer, you're going to trim half inch pieces off. Okay, so let's go ahead and you'll want to press down on your trimmer pretty hard just so it doesn't slide. And I like to run it both up and down and then I will take it out and here is, oh, maybe what I forgot to do is what you should do is peel this off first. Sometimes I forget to do that. 
So go ahead and peel that off before you cut any more. Okay, let me move that over there, throw some garbage that way. Okay, I know I have, yes, I have this big piece right here. Okay, now this should work pretty good. Okay, so now put this on the half inch mark again, and I'm gonna hold it down and cut. So the next thing we're gonna do is we are gonna bring in a piece of cardstock. I chose mink cardstock to go with these colors, and this is three and three quarters by five inches. So what I'm going to do, actually let me, let's remove this. Okay, so then I'm gonna take one of these and I am going to match it down here match it up there to see which squares need adhesive. And I know this one does, and both of these I will put some on. So I'm just gonna flip it over, and I'm gonna take my adhesive, and I'm just gonna put it on those squares, and then I'm just gonna kinda choose one or two in the middle. Okay, so now what I can do is put it on there, line it up, Line it up the best that I can, there we go. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and just trim off the excess. And you're gonna continue doing this with the pieces that you have until it all comes together. So we are covering this entire piece and I will do one more before I speed up the video to show you how that looks. Let's get these all in a pile here, okay. They wanna fly away. Okay, so another thing is, when you're putting it down, kinda of see, cause you really don't wanna to get two matchy matchies next to each other. So just see where it best fits. And as you can see on this one, it barely meets the end. So I'm gonna go ahead and go with that one. I'm gonna glue that one, this one, and this one, and then one in the middle. So let's do that. Okay, now that we have this done, let's start layering. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and adhere this to a four inch by five and a quarter inch piece of black cardstock. Just gonna slide that on there. And then I'm gonna bring in my card base. So let me go ahead and fold it. This is just a standard card base. And I'm going to put adhesive on the back. and center it on the front. So at this point, we have a really nice pattern paper effect and it has that shine through. Can you see the disco ball effect going on? So now let me bring in this. We are going to add in the pieces that we need um, and it'll take only a couple seconds to finish it up. So the first thing I'm gonna do is bring in this three and three quarter inch by half inch. And I am just going to stick it about right here. We're gonna just kinda of try to eyeball things and get it on there. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors and I just want a little bit of um, edge distressing. So I'm not even opening up my scissors. I am just simply running the side of the blade along the edge of my circle. 
And let me, let me measure my circles for you. Let's bring this back in just so I can measure. So this is about a two and a half inch circle. And then our next one is two inches. So I chose this side for my paper because I wanted it different than what is showing in my background. So I am going to just do the same because I wanted to have a little bit of extra texture um, to look a little bit different and give it a little bit more fun. So, okay, now that I have that, I am just going to adhere it to the center of my circle. Okay, so at this point, let's move that over so you can see that over there. I'm going to bring in some thin 3D foam dots. And I am literally just going to put some on here and place it on my card. Again, super simple card. Once you have um, done all of your little squares, can you imagine if um, you decided just to cut all the little squares and put them on? That would just take for hours. But doing it this way is so much easier. So there is that. Okay, let me find a piece of foam here. And I'm gonna bring in my blacking pad. Okay, and let's see, let's bring in a block. And I'm gonna do the Happy Birthday Dude. This is using the Hey Handsome card making workshop stamp set. So I'm gonna do this one. Wow, look at me. I have all kinds of stuff going on here. Okay, so I personally like to put them down like that and pick them up with my block. Um, that way, if anything needs to be a little straighter than it is, um, I can do that or the block will put it into place by itself, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to stamp this in the center of this piece and in a moment, I will get you the measurement of that. Okay, let's move that out of the way. This is a quarter, not a quarter, one and a quarter by three inches, okay? So now I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut a half an inch notch and then go from corner to the top of the notch and corner to the top of the notch to make a dovetail. And then I'm gonna repeat it on this side. That is how I like to do my dovetails. Um, there's so many different ways to do it, but that is just how I like to do mine. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and add a couple more little 3D foam dots, thin 3D foam dots, by the way, to the back of this and pull those up, stick them down, and then we'll add a few little black dot embellishments and then the card is done. Easy peasy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy, as a matter of fact. Okay, so here is this. And let me bring in this and my pokey tool. And I'm just going to stick a dot right next to each word. Okay. And there you have it. Oops, let me straighten it out there. Okay, there you have it. This is our card. This is the example. Perfect. Love it. This is a fun technique, you guys, and one I know that um, you're going to enjoy doing. I do recommend that if you're purchasing Close to My Heart Acetate that you get it soon because as this is being seen more and more by card makers, they're going to start buying up the acetate. So get on it as soon as you can. Have a great day.